All right. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, all across the globe, this is another edition of Power Connections with Kevin Vaughn and my wonderful guest today, Sister Vera Thomas. What's going on, Sister? How are you today? I am blessed and highly favored. Thank you very much. Yes, glad to be here. Yes, man. We are glad to be here. And we ain't apologizing for this one. We are glad that God is with us today. Amen. We thank God for everything through Jesus Christ. And we thank God for the precious Holy Spirit. That's Amen. Today. So God Amen. bless everybody listening. We love the believer and we love the unbeliever. <laughs> so Amen. don't get it twisted. But y'all call me if you got any problems with that. Give me a call. Don't call Vera. Call me. <laughs> I love it. Right. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking to Vera today about most important topic today. But I'm going to let her uh, tell us about that. But she is a wonderful uh, certified life coach, ladies and gentlemen. She's an author, speaker, and a trainer. Uh, she loves, obviously loves people. We all love people, at least, at least we do. Anyway, us too. We can talk about us too. We love the people out there. But there's a serious topic going on that Vera is going to share with us today. She's got some events coming up uh, that are as well important. So I want you guys not only to pay attention, but also to share this out on your platform. Hey, this is Power Connections with Kevin Vaughn and my wonderful guest today, Vera Thomas. Vera, if you would, uh, if you would just open up anything you'd like to say, because a lot going on on the planet before we get into our topic. Anything you'd like to open up with uh, words of encouragement, empowerment, anything you'd like to say to our audience first? Yes. First of all, I my heart goes out to what's happening in Israel. Yeah. And we just need yeah. to lift them, lift up these families and lift yeah. up um, yeah. our country, lift up the world. We need to pray for world peace. We Absolutely. need to pray for love. Yeah. If we can let our light shine where there is light, there can be no darkness. Yeah. And right now, all this dark stuff is going on. Yeah. We need to let our light shine. Yep. Yep. And, and so just pray, pray, pray for these families, pray for our country, pray for the world. Yeah. Pray yeah. for world peace. Yep. Amen. Amen. In fact, scripture says he will keep you in perfect peace whose right. mind is stayed on him. Yeah. Praise God. I love it. And Vera, we wanna, I want to encourage everybody to step up their prayer life for those who are believers. Step it up to the next level. Uh, some things require prayer and fasting according to the word of God. Praying is good, but sometimes you got to fast as well. Uh, of course, you do that according to your faith in that area, folks. But really, we have to step things up a little bit. A lot, a lot yeah. of happening, folks. And what's sad about the whole thing, uh, Vera, is that we got children and women, and you know, elderly are getting hurt and getting uh, not not good, not no, good at it's, all. So it's crazy. Uh, it's yeah. that, it's evil. It's just straight. Yeah, bottom evil. line. Yeah, call it what it is. It you is know, evil. It's evil. Yeah, yeah. Say people are doing things in the name of what they believe, and it's wrong. Uh, they don't see that, of course, but it is wrong when they take lives, innocent lives and things like that. So y'all continue to pray and uh, stay alert. And uh, as my bishop would say, keep your eyes open as you pray and keep your eyes open. <laughs> so you got to know what's going on around you. Yeah. You can pray for that as you go forward. Well, Vera, let's get right into our topic today, folks. I'm going to let you uh, announce what's going on and some of the issues that are happening in our society and our community and our family and in our schools. Vera Thomas, please tell us what we need to know today. You know, bullying is such a major issue. It's an issue in our homes. Yeah. It's an issue in our schools. It's an issue in our society. It's, yes, a, it's an issue in our workplaces. I mean, it is a major issue. And not only are kids being yeah. bullied, but adults are being bullied as well. And so I have a workshop that's scheduled for this weekend from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it is for parents and their children, eight to 13 years old. Wonderful. What we're going to do, we'll be on Zoom. So it's, it's online and we will be breaking out into rooms where parents mm -hmm. can talk about their own experience of being bullied. And then the children will be in a, a space where they're talking about their experiences and we're going to be working through, well, how do we deal with this? Yeah. How do I, as an adult, deal with being bullied in the workplace? Mm -hmm. How do I, as an adult, deal with being mm -hmm. bullied in a relationship? Mm -hmm. How do I, as an adult, look mm -hmm. at how I might be interacting and communicating with my children that might be considered yeah. bullying? Yeah. And as children, how do I use my power 
to speak up against bullying as a bystander? How do I use my power to let the bully know that they have no power over me? Therefore, whatever they're attempting to do, is that going to work? Yeah. How do I do that? How do I gain my power? And for adults, how do I take back my power? Mm -hmm. And so this is, and the, why do I do this? Why do I have such a passion for this? I do this because I grew up being bullied mm -hmm. and ridiculed and mm -hmm. belittled and called names. Mm -hmm. I grew up being told you're stupid, you're dumb, you're fat, you're ugly, you're nothing, you'll never be anything. Mm -hmm. Those are just not things a child needs to hear. And no, no. these were things that were her, I was told by not only my peers, but adults as well. Yeah. And so I grew up with no confidence, no self-esteem and wondering, I even remember crying, literally crying and praying, yeah. and asking God, what is my purpose? Yeah. Why was I born? Yeah. And then I read a book that changed my life. It was called The Magic of Believing. And it talked about acting the way that you are. But the quote, there was a quote in there by Eleanor Roosevelt, which changed, really made me look at how I'm relating, reacting, and responding mm -hmm. to being bullied. In Eleanor Roosevelt, she says, no one can make you feel inferior without your permission. Come on now, sister. And yeah. let me say it again. No one can make you feel inferior without your permission. We give people permission to yeah. treat us any kind of way. We uh, give people permission to take our power away from us. Mm -hmm. And so once I understood that, once it resonated with me, that, yeah, yeah. then I understood it doesn't matter what people right. say about me. It doesn't right. matter how people relate, react, and respond towards me. It doesn't matter how right. people feel about me. All that matters is how God thinks about me Come on now, and sister. how I see yeah. myself Yeah, exactly. and how um, what I say, the things that yeah. I say to yeah. myself. Yeah. And so after gaining all my confidence and all that stuff, you know, even starting my business of training and speaking and all that stuff, I got married and I ended up being bullied <laughs> in my marriage. Yeah. And as a result, I'm talking verbal, physical, mental, emotional, and it's abuse, but it's also a form of bullying. Yeah. And I lost all the confidence, all the self-esteem, mm. all the stuff that I have worked so hard to yeah. acquire after learning about how to do that, I lost it all. Mm. Because it's very difficult to be confident and yeah. secure when yeah. you're constantly being beaten down verbally, yeah. physically, emotionally, mentally. Yep. And so when I left my, I left my husband, in fact, when my son was three, when, when my son was three months old, my ex-husband attacked me in front of him. I knew at that point in time that I was not going to raise a child in that right. environment. Right, yeah. So I left my son, left my ex-husband when my son was six months old. Now, I understood that I had to regroup, regain, reinvent myself and become yeah. that yeah. confident yeah. person that I was before. But this time, not only did I have to do it for myself, I had a child. So I had to do it for my child as well. Yeah. And so I developed some tools and some things that helped me and him to be confident and secure and self-assured people. And I can honestly say that my son is one of the most positive people you will ever meet in your life. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. He really is. He's 40 years old now. And sometimes oh, he has to remind me. As a matter of yeah. fact, this weekend, he was like, mom, <laughs> he has to remind me of what I've taught okay. him because sometimes life can, yeah, yeah. can really Absolutely. cause you to think about some stuff. Absolutely. And, you know, and it's yeah. good to have someone else that you raise to say, hey, mom, hey, mom, come on, mom, okay? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love it, man. I love it. Isn't that wonderful to have your yes. child to remind you of what you yes. talk about? That's powerful. Yes. That is so yes. powerful. Hey, Vera, real quickly. Hey, for those who are joining us live right now, hey, this is Vera Thomas, guy. We're talking about the topic of bullying, and it's in all fashions. It's at high tech, even. It's on social media, as we know, folks. 
Matter of fact, people are getting bullied. They don't even know the person. They don't even see them. Just bullying them on social media. I can see how that can work too as well. So uh, we're talking about bullying today. We're talking about this wonderful uh, event that's coming up soon too as well. Uh, we're going to have, uh, we want people also too to know about how to get in touch. We're going to do a commercial break real quick. But if people want to learn more about this uh, time coming up this weekend, your event coming up, uh, how can they uh, get involved? Because some people know that they need to get involved in this as well and want to learn more about that. So you, you do a little commercial break for us right now and let us know about this event coming up. Yeah, so we thank God for you uh, in that area. Hey, guys, this is Power Connections with uh, Vera Thomas. Vera, we got you on mute right now, so we get you off of mute. You are good? You good? All right. So we're going to uh, keep talking until you come back on. <laughs> so I love it. I love it. Hey, guys, we're just excited about uh, this topic today because it is uh, needed, uh, not only in our homes, but specifically in our schools, guys, and even uh, outside, even at work. Man, gee whiz. I've seen bullying at work as well at different levels. So uh, we know we got to be able to deal with that as well. So, guys, we're talking today about bullying at all levels. We know it's a, a area, for, especially for adults. Uh, man, we got to get over that through our mental capacity side, Vera. You know, even with the uh, for adults, we got to get that mindset right. You know, absolutely. And you absolutely. I mean, yeah. bullying in the workplace. Yeah. It is real. Yeah. I, I yeah. one of the things, even though I, my focus right now is to work with parents and their children, right. Right. my career spans across 40 years. Wow. And I've yeah. worked with companies, organizations, schools, and churches. I've gone into companies where yeah. bullying was a major issue because of either management and leadership bullying their co their right. workers. Right. Yeah. And then co-workers bullying each other. Yep. Yep. And having to deal with that. Yep. You know, having to deal with that, calling the leadership on, you know, there are several leadership styles. Yeah. And one of those styles is authoritarian. Right. And authoritarian leaders tend to have a propensity to yeah. um, verbally yeah. abuse their yeah. employees. Yeah. yeah. You know, by right. say talking to them any kind of way. Yep. Um, demanding things from them, yep. not thinking about how they may be feeling about a situation. Yep. So how do I, as an employee, deal with that? How do I, as a coworker sitting next to someone who is also bullying me, yeah. how do I deal with that? And like I said, I've experienced this stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I've seen I mean, it. I've experienced it and I've had to deal with it. Yeah. And so in our workshop, we're not, we need to focus on bullying in schools, bullying at work, bullying at home. And we're going to be able to do that in this workshop and yeah. provide concrete ways and practice. Right. <laughs> People are going to be able to practice how to say what they need to say. That's right. You know That's and it's, and it's going to be without getting a bat and taking somebody's head off. Okay. So we exactly. <laughs> No cursing, yeah, no, no yelling. No, yeah, no. You know, as that, a matter no of fact, touching. as a matter of fact, yelling yeah. is another form of bullying. Right. And we as parents oftentimes find ourselves yelling at our kids. Now, there's different types of yelling. Right. But the yelling I'm talking about that's abusive. Yeah, is when we're angry, right. frustrated, yeah. annoyed, right. and and we're we're taking it out on our kids, or our yeah. kids may have been the reason why we're this way okay but what we don't understand is when we yell at our kids it's traumatic yes, it, it, can, is. it can cause depression yeah anxiety yeah panic attacks stomach yeah. problems yeah all kinds of things headaches from yelling and what i say to parents think about how you feel when someone yells at you Right. Oh, yeah. That don't happen. How do you feel when someone yells to you? Yeah, exactly. You? exactly. Amplify it for a child. Yeah, powerful. Amplify powerful. it. Wow. You know, and so a lot of times parents don't understand I, the impact that they're having on their child's, condi you know, condition. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And that's a good point. All right. Let's talk about that a little bit, Vera, because... That is so important, especially with our young people, right? Young babies all the way up. We impact them as parents. We are shaping their environment, okay? Yes. They're going to go out and react 
to people the wrong way. We wonder why our kid did that. And we found out that we had something to do with it as a parent, you know, because yes. of our attitude. So guys, we ladies and gentlemen who are parents, guardians and all the above, keep in mind that our children are, are learning. They're going to absorb their minds are still growing, you know, as well. They're inputting stuff, whether it's negative or positive, they're going to input that stuff. And guess what? They're going to think that's normal to go out and hit somebody, go out and abuse somebody verbally, and it's not going to be pretty, okay? It's not going to be pretty for them or you. And most people, Vera, won't even look at themselves saying, well, wait a minute, Dad, maybe you the problem. Wait a minute, Mom, maybe you the problem. Now, I know we don't do that one because I'm working on me right now. So and the biggest thing is working on you and saying, well, maybe it's not them. Maybe it's me. That's a whole and, other level. <laughs> yes. And being man enough, woman enough, parent enough to apologize there you to your go. child I'm when stuck. you know that you've done wrong. Wow. Now, let me also say, allowing your children to express to you how they feel. But nope. learning, but this workshop, yeah. this workshop yeah. is going to teach kids. That's right how to That's approach right. their parents. And Vera, let me talk about that real quick because I love this part. First of all, don't interrupt them and give them some time. Is that true, Vera? Yes, listen to your children. Yeah. Give them time, allow them to speak. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and children do the same with your parents. Let them talk, you know. Respect your parents now. You got to respect your parents now. Let's put that out there. Right. Children, you got to do that. Yes, but parents also need to respect their kids. That's true. Yeah. Parents need to respect yeah. that their child has a voice. Yes, yeah. And allow them to use that voice. Because yeah. if you don't, when they are out there being bullied, they won't know how to deal with it because they are not communicating with you and they're not communicating with you because they're not sure how you're going to relate, react, or respond to them. Yeah, And exactly. so... One of the things I want to share, I've yeah. co-authored several books. Yes. One, three of them are parenting books. One of them is called Raising Children is Not Easy, but it's worth it. And I in all of every book that I've co-authored, I've written a poem that started my, my chapter. But I do want to share this particular poem here today. Yeah, please. From, from this book. And it's called The Gift. I love it. Children are a gift from God with a brilliance that may leave us in awe. Mm -hmm. We are the reflection of their perception without pretense or deception. Mm -hmm. Based on our reality, our children grow to be what they see. Let not the negatives from your past be what continues a cycle that does not need to last. Mm -hmm. To change the trajectory of our children's lives, mm -hmm. we may need to change what we feel inside. Our attitudes and behaviors can diminish or be what takes them far. Mm -hmm. Recognize and change the pain from old scars, unforgiveness, mm -hmm. bitterness, guilt, and shame. Become what your children learn to claim. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Yes. What we say to our children can make them weak or make them strong. As parents, we must understand our children's lives are in God's hands. We must parent according to his plan. Train up a child in the way they should go. Teaching what mm -hmm. will help them grow guiding them so they will know confidence, resilience, values, and morals, having faith in a higher power and yeah. hope for tomorrow. Parents are a child's first teacher. Yes. What we pour into them will be lifelong keepers. Raising children requires patience yeah. and time yeah. and commitment, courage, and an authoritative mind. Amen. I love it. I love it. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, I'm with Vera Thomas. We're talking about the subject topic of bullying at all levels, guys. You can even bully a baby, I believe. People probably just abuse a baby, don't even know they're doing it, and uh, trying to think of their parenting and stuff. Don't get me started on that one. But uh, yeah, this is very, very important, guys. Vera, I want people to know about this workshop coming up. 
uh, how they can enroll. What's the uh, what's the details on the on the workshop coming up, please? So people... they can reach the, the workshop is at um and you know, let me I'm putting it in the chat so that I can it's um https bt bit dot ly yes forward slash anti bully use your power and, and this yeah. workshop is for parents mm -hmm. and their children. Mm -hmm. ages eight years old to 13 yeah. and we're going to be addressing the issue of, of bullying yeah. from the perspective that parents are often bullied mm -hmm. children are bullied at home at school yes you know and so we want to look at how can i use my power yes how can i take back my power yes how can i be an ally for and support Yes. Those that I see being bullied. And, you know, I have to say kudos. I have two grandchildren. Uh -huh. One is 11 and the other one is 12. But yes. from the time they were eight and nine year olds, they were by, they were um, advocates, anti-bully advocates. And they yeah. would see, they would see be children, other kids being bullied. Yeah. And they call it out. Oh, absolutely. They would call it out. Why are you messing with right. her? Up, Why yeah. are you... Why she's not bothering you? Yeah, Why are yeah, you bothering right. her? Yeah, you you should be ashamed of yourself. Gotta and in saying that, the, the bully stop messing with the kid. Got to nip it you know, in the bud when you, you see gotta it. Got to nip it when you see it. Say right. something. Yeah. Do something. Right. Absolutely. Matter of fact, let's talk about that too, Vera, because some people will not engage necessarily. But what can people? What is the proper way to let people know? Let's, I'm talking about authority now. That's at the school systems and so forth as well. Sometimes you have to go to the school system. You know, the authorities there let them know what's the best way to handle that. Sometimes because not everybody's going to challenge somebody and get that type of result. But they should share that information with the teacher, administrator, principal, that type of thing. What's the best way to handle that? Absolutely. And unfortunately, we have school systems that are not mm. receptive wow. to really making a lot of change when they're wow. when we know this. Really? We see it. We hear about it. You know, I've got a client right now. Her daughter has been bullied for the past two years. She's wow. working for the school systems and everything. Two you know. Years. It, yes, I mean, oh, I mean, it's it's a horrific yeah. situation. Wow. But anyway, first of all, if your child is being bullied, or if your your child is a bystander, yeah. in both cases, you need to go to your teacher and you need to go to the principal. And uh -huh. in most school systems, there are security or policemen. Yes, and so you need to go to them as well, and you need to let all three entities know what's going on. And you need to document, document. I cannot impress enough mm -hmm. on you documenting stuff that's happening to you. Uh -huh. And if you have your phone, videotape it. Yeah. Videotape. You know, I mean, a lot of things have been uncovered because of videos. Yeah, exactly. And we see that in our society. So kids, adults, videotape when you're being abused verbally, physically, or mentally or emotionally. Documentation is key. And the reason it is key because you don't want, when you're trying to fight against this, uh -huh. you don't want to come from an emotion, even though it's an emotional situation, you right. don't want to come from an emotional perspective. You want to come with facts and yes. evidence. Yes. Facts and evidence. So that is documentation and video. If the school administration and or your principal and or your teacher chooses not to do anything about your complaint, uh -huh. the next step is the Board of Education and the PTA. Gotcha. Wow. If they don't want to do anything about it, wow. then I would go to the media and express what's going on with me or my child. If that and also seek legal advice and also professional counseling, because in most cases, when you're going through all this stuff, it is mentally draining. Yes. It can yeah. be traumatic. Yes. It can yeah. be so impactful that it changes everything about you, how you eat, how you sleep, how you yeah. respond and relate and re yeah. react to yourself and to other people. Yes. Yes. So documentation 
videotapes, going to authorities, you know, pressing charges. Yeah. If need be, take back your power, use your power. And if they're not listening to you coming from an assertive perspective, then go to the next level. Because this stuff has got to stop. It's yes, got to it stop. Yes, it does. Matter of fact, as you know, uh, uh, talk a little bit about this too, Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to understand that bullying is so serious, people will take their lives. Yes. That's ridiculous. That is unacceptable. Yes. Take the, like, can you talk a little bit about that? Because I understand suicide has happened from, from being bullied so much. People commit suicide. The number two cause of hey, death. Incredible, Lord Jesus. For ages 10 years old to 34 years old is yeah. suicide. Yeah. And, and, you know, kids cannot, it's really hard unless they understand. First, let me back up. Yeah. Parents, especially parents of young children. Yes. It is incumbent upon you to instill confidence and self-esteem in those children before they start going to school. Yes. Because what's going to happen, they're going to be so assured and so confident in themselves that they won't be able to be bullied. Right. An example, my son, <laughs> when my son was in middle uh, uh, school, yeah, yeah. Um, there was a bully that really tried to intimidate him into doing something that would get him in trouble. Right, right. And this, little, this boy was constantly on him every day, badgering him, threatening him. Hmm. And, he, and each time he said, I'm not doing it. Right, right. This is not, I'm not doing that. Amen. And, and then my son went to the teacher and the principal and told them what this kid was trying to do. Mm -hmm. And as a result, the kid got expelled. Oh, wow. Now, had my son partaken mm -hmm. in what it was right. that this kid was doing, right. he would have done so as well. Now, because my son had confidence and self-assurance. Yeah. Don't yeah. And, yeah. And the thing is, I never went because I grew up being told these names. You're stupid, dumb, fat, ugly, all that stuff. I never, ever, ever caught my son out of his name. Right. Right. Never. Right. That's called true. him out of his name. Yeah. Now. Don't get it twisted. I never said that. I mean, there were things that he might have done right, right. that I thought was stupid. And I would say, that mm -hmm. was a stupid thing you did, but I'm not calling you stupid. My next question is, what made you do that? Right. What were you thinking when you right. did that? Exactly. You know, you are, you know better. Yep, exactly. So tell right. me, you know, but again, I didn't call him stupid, but I did right. call out. And that's one of the problems yeah. in relationships. Yes. We tend to attack the person mm -hmm. instead of the attitude or the behavior. That's a form of bullying. Yes. When you, instead of addressing the, the issue and the reason you're upset and you start the name calling mm -hmm. and the belittling and the ridiculing, and people do that in relationships, and they do that with their children. Yes. That's not addressing the issue. Nope. Address the is issue and not attack the person. Right. I, I can't impress upon you how important that is. That is a form of bullying. What are some other forms of bullying? When we try to, when we um, lay a guilt trip on our kids because we want them to do something that we want them to do. Mm -hmm. It's a form of bullying, and it's also a form of manipulation. Yes, it is. And there is so many times parents want to impose upon their kids what they want them to do, what school they want them to go to, what, what career they want them to do. That's mm -hmm. a form of bullying. Yeah, it is. And then when you are in a conversation with, in a group of people, and you're trying to get your point across, and people are talking over you all the time. Every time you try to say something, they're talking over you. Mm -hmm. That's a form of bullying. Yeah. When you're dealing with people and they're rolling their eyes at you, that's a form of bullying. Yes. There are many forms of bullying that can be nonverbal. 
I could go. <laughs> yeah, this is great. Yeah, exactly. I'm very passionate about this. Oh, yeah, this is very serious. Yeah, this is very because serious. Because I don't want any child committing suicide because right. they couldn't talk to their parents. Absolutely. That that is unacceptable right there. Yeah, yeah. We I don't, don't want any young person that's right who may have an alter alter yeah. alternative lifestyle yeah. different from ours yeah. to commit suicide. That's right. Because society is on their, on them. Right. Absolutely. I don't want any adult to lose their mind right. because people right. are constantly on them right right where the internet is concerned yeah you don't have to allow yourself to listen and see stuff that you don't people you don't even know people yeah. don't even know you yeah block yeah. them absolutely don't yeah, even bother to read them block yeah. them. absolutely i love it Vera. matter of fact i'm glad you mentioned that because i want to make sure people understand there is an out it, folks, you got to understand your worth. First of all, you need to understand and talk about adults, first of all, and then our young adults. Know your worth, okay? Know that you will not have anybody talking to you a certain way, okay? You have to uh, stand up for yourself doing that. Obviously, you got to use wisdom because you know some crazy folks out there. Sometimes you just got to walk away or run away in some cases, but please understand your worth. You are worth. You do not let people dump gar garbage in your wonderful mind. That's it right there. You don't not let people do that. You have to stand up for yourself. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen, those adults, we have to teach our young people that though. They don't know. We have to tell them, hey, you are not required to receive everything people say you are. And then you got to also know who you are and yeah. say, no, that is not me. I don't care what they say. No, that's not me. I ain't doing that. I love that. But what you taught your son, powerful area. That's what you do. You got to teach. But most of the time, Vera, as you know, they just don't know. The children don't know not, not how to defend themselves properly without getting into altercations and so forth and fighting and all that. We're not talking about exactly. that. That's what we're talking about. So the workshop coming up is going to help you tremendously. Uh, those are excited. I want at least 30 or 40 people to be a part of this workshop as you hear this. Vera, if you would, I'm going to be pushing this out on the network later on. Uh, you, thank you for the link. Uh, I just pushed it out while you were talking. We pushed it out on some other platforms. So we trust that people will pay attention to that. But if you would, just talk about that workshop again, because we're talking about solutions now, right? For sure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Viable solutions. Yeah. The yeah. workshop is on this weekend, the 14th and 15th from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it is for parents. Yes. and their children, eight years yes. old to 13 years old. We're awesome. going to be looking at bullying across the board, yeah. bullying at school, bullying at work, bullying at home, bullying in society, bullying on, the, on cyber. So, and what we're going to do, we're going to be in rooms so that parents can deal with their issues and we talk about it. And kids are going to be in a room and we're going to probably break up, break the rooms into two different age groups yeah. from eight to 10 and then from 10, from 11 to 12 and 13. And in each one of these groups, these kids are going to be able to share yeah. safety, safe, share with confidence that, hey, right. I can speak. This is a safe space. And they can begin to share their experiences. And I'm looking for, I want bullies to come to this workshop. Yeah. I want victims to come to this workshop yeah. and I want bystanders to come to this workshop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want bullies to begin to look at how they can change and transform their lives. I want victims to understand and appreciate their power and their self-worth and what they can do to yep. combat being bullied so that they will be bullied no more. I want the bystander to have the courage to stand and say, hey, this yeah. is not right and do something. Yeah. And we're going to provide you with tools of things that you can do. And I'm excited because we're going to be doing some role playing. Yeah. And we're going to allow each participant to practice yeah. how to re relate, react, and respond to these things. I'm telling you, it's going to be a powerful workshop. Oh, absolutely. And absolutely. For parents and their kids. Yes. I love it. Thank you so much. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're on Power Connections with Ms. Vera Thomas, ladies and gentlemen. She is an author. She's a wonderful advocate for this area we talk called bullying. And also she's a businesswoman and a life coach. You can see she's excited about this topic. 
but we want to eradicate this topic as much as possible. No doubt about that for sure. I love it. Hey, the workshop's coming up, guys. You'll get the link uh, here in Bitly. Uh, it's coming out soon, so you guys will get the link in this uh, broadcast as well. I'll be pushing this out on, on our YouTube channel and on our LinkedIn channel and all about eight other platforms, Sister Vera. So we want to make sure people get that information uh, this week coming up. So we trust that people will respond properly in that area. Well, one thing we want to do, guys, we want to give you some uh, positive tips. Uh, I want Ms. Vera to give us some tips before we let her go today. Uh, anything, uh, any final thoughts, any final action items, things you want us to do? Hey, also, too, I wanted to mention, too, Vera, before I give it back to you. Parents, this is your responsibility, okay? I want you to be involved in this workshop. How about this? Grandmas and grandpas. Yes. Grandmas and grandpas taking care of children, taking care of their children's children. We got uh, aunties and uncles taking care of their children's children's children and all that good stuff. We understand that. And so we want uh, all the above guardians, right? Any people who are guardians. Uh, teachers. Anybody, yeah, teachers, anybody. Uh, principals. Uh, how about this? Psychologists. Uh, people who are involved with the psychology of schooling, if you will, today, all the above, you're invited to this wonderful workshop. Sister Vera, any final thoughts you would like to give us today? I just want to say, now, I am going to be doing three audios on LinkedIn where people, and it's, um, what do you do when you or your child is bullied? Yeah. And I want that conversation. If you go to my, go to LinkedIn, you'll see it in events. So oh, that's a quick thing. But what I want to say to each and every one of you, use your power. Yeah. Take back your power. Yeah. You do not have to allow people to dump on you, that's to right. treat you any kind of way. And as Eleanor Roosevelt said, no one can make you feel inferior without your permission. Hallelujah. Your power. That's right. Use your power. That's right. You have the right, ladies and gentlemen. You have the right and the power. But it's all about information, I found out, Vera. People just don't know. You know, they're just going along with the people. Some people don't want to say nothing. Some people want to accept what people just said to them. Wait, wait a minute. That ain't even you. But we don't, we don't know how to deal with it sometimes. I grew up like that as well. You just didn't know what to say. You can't fight everybody you know, all the time. So. Right. And sometimes uh, you just have to remove yourself. Yeah, exactly. You know, even if it's family. You know, I mean, I know a situation where every single time this person was in the midst of family gatherings, they were right. they were the bread of every joke. They yeah. were ridiculed right. you know, constantly. And, right. and that individual just decided, well, I just won't go to any more family functions because exactly. I'm tired yes. of being the the brunt of everything. Absolutely. I and, the then, and then what happens is family says, well, they're antisocial. They don't hang around. Well, <laughs> you right. know? That's why. You exactly. Know. See, nobody wants to analyze themselves. They want to analyze everybody else. Right. That's been the challenge. That's been the problem over the time is that we never look at who maybe I'm responsible. I got a good one of my mentors, Sister Vera, talks about, well, maybe it's me, <laughs> not them. <laughs> mm -hmm. you know? Nobody wants to analyze themselves. So I had, to I had to figure out, well, maybe it's me. If you got 50 people saying the same thing, maybe it's me, not them. Absolutely. <laughs> I, that's another point. If yeah. you are being told yeah. the same thing about yourself yes. over and over and over again in different environments, right. different people, yeah. then you may need to look at that. Absolutely. You I'm, may need to look at that. Amen. I love and it. And it may be a hard pill to swallow. Right. But, well, yeah, exactly. But when we know better, we do better. Yeah. And awareness yeah. precedes change. And we cannot change what we don't acknowledge. Absolutely. Yeah, because the goal, guys, is to get better. For me Absolutely. to get better. Me get Be better. Be the best version of yourself. Yes, and treat people better, guys. You know, you should be constantly trying to improve yourself every day. Well, maybe I'm talking to them wrong. Maybe I'm talking to them this way. You, but how about this one? Have you ever asked yourself uh, and have somebody analyze you? Like, Ms. Vera, what do I need to do better? Have you ever asked that question to some friends and confidants or people? And they'll let you know. Even your enemies will let you know if you want to ask them. Maybe they'll tell you a few things. And don't yeah. be mad if they tell you the truth. That's Can I problem. share something? I know we're trying to leave here. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, no, this is good stuff. This is good. I did that. I have been on the job for, yeah. and by at this point, it was six years. Yeah, yeah. And I noticed that my coworkers, their attitude towards me was different 
Yeah. So I had each one of them come to my office right. and I asked each of them, right. have I said or done right. something to offend you? Right. I've done that. Yeah. And now, again, we just said, when you hear the same thing over and over again, you need to check it. Well, each one of them, they wow. came in my office, each one of them said, yeah, there are times when you're pretty abrupt. And, you know, and I'm thinking, I'm not an abrupt person, you know, but right. then I'm sitting at my desk. I'm in the zone working with my clients. And someone just barges into my right. office. I'm a little abrupt. <laughs> but awareness precedes change. So once I was informed yes. that they saw me as abrupt, first of all, I had to say to them, well, when I, I apologize and I recognize that when I am in the zone, because yeah. I had over 200 and some odd clients, and I excelled in getting results. Yeah. And I said to them, when I'm in the zone and I'm working and my and I'm interrupted, mm -hmm. I noticed that I can be abrupt. So I apologize for that. And yeah. I will do better. So then when it happened again, mm -hmm. this time, because I felt myself get, you know, we can tell yeah. we can yeah. really get all riled up and everything. Yeah. So I calmly took a couple deep breaths. There you go. And I calmly yep. turned away from my computer. Yeah. And I said very calmly, can I help you? There you go. And yeah. so by doing that, it enabled me. Well, first of all, by getting that feedback, it's, a, it, it's valuable mm -hmm. to get feedback from people. Especially yes, it is. if you notice oh, yeah. an attitude change. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, it's yeah. valuable. But yeah. also, I want to suggest that you as parents, families, yeah. instead of doing it from a negative perspective, because that's what we see in each other yeah. most of yeah. the time, yeah. what I want you to do, and do this tonight if possible, I want you to write down 10 things that you value about each member of your family, in your immediate family, each one of your children, mm -hmm. your spouse, or your significant other. And I want you to ask them to do the same for you. Yeah. And actually what would be ideal is if everybody did the same for everybody in the family. Right. And then you sit down with a family meeting, put that one person in the middle, in a yeah. middle chair, yeah. and everybody share the things that they value and appreciate. Wow, about. wow. That's I'm good. telling you, oh, that's this power. is powerful. Yeah, yeah. And you're see. all going to feel so loved. You Absolutely. Know? And it may well change some I attitudes and behaviors within your home, in your own home. I love it, Beer. That is brilliant. I love it. Hey, also, too, guys, anybody who has a podcast, you got radio shows, you got digital television, all the above, any type of media. How about this? Any type of organization, organizations, groups, associations that have uh, people, you know, your your team, if you will, your employees, whatever, you need to invite Vera to come talk to your team. Come Please. To your team. Do <laughs> and that, also, guys. Come I want you guys to show. invite her to come on your program or be part of your program. I know just in Atlanta, we got tens of thousands of organizations that meet on a regular basis and they're always looking for speakers. So if you guys are, are I know you're all looking for speakers all the time. So you guys need to book Vera to come out and talk about this specific area for those who have related area in this area. We talk about bullying, right? And then we're talking about it at all levels, guys, from the home all the way to the workplace, guys. Now, this topic is unfortunately an issue and it's all at different levels too, man. You could be rich, you could be poor, it don't matter. You can get bullied at all levels. Just incredible. I love it. So I wanted to mention that, guys, that you guys invite her to your organization meetings, to your uh, media services. Uh, if you got a wonderful platform on social media, invite her as a special guest, as we've done here as well. And she's going to be back on a regular basis here, just letting us know what's going on uh, in this topic and so much more as well. I would love it. So Vera, last thing was tell people who may just join us, tell them about this workshop coming up, ma'am, this weekend. Yes, the workshop is this weekend, um, the 14th and 15th, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. It is for parents and their kids. Yep. And from 
kids between the ages of eight years old to 13 years old. We're going to be talking about bullying in the schools, yeah. bullying in our communities, bullying in our workplaces, bullying in our homes. Mm -hmm. And we're going to give you concrete ways to yeah. resolve these issues and it. practice so that you feel comfortable communicating yeah. the way that you need to communicate to get people off your back. Oh, I love it. I love it. And Vera, can I give you a uh, Facebook page out there for your name? Very good. Hey, guys, I want you to tap into her Facebook page, Vera Thomas, B-E-R-A Thomas, okay? Right now, you guys can do that. I want you to also friend her as well, but you can uh, register for that information and for the workshop or ask more information about bullying or invite her to your uh, next session or in the future as well. You guys are starting to book for the rest of the year. You guys can have her out either on virtual or live and she approves that. So you guys contact her on Facebook, Vera Thomas. I love it. Vera, this is powerful. You know, we could talk another hour easy on these subjects easy. Uh, and keep it moving easy on this subject. So guys, we're just excited about her being on Power Connections. We've been talking about bullying with Vera Thomas. For those who don't know, she's an author. She's a wonderful advocate for this area, guys, and a businesswoman and a life coach. And she is fired up, guys, about this topic today. And we want results. We want improved results. Uh, we want the stats to go down, not up, right, for this area. And yeah. we want people to enjoy their wonderful life. Vera, thank you so much for your time today. I love it. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Oh, my pleasure. We're pushing this out. Hey, guys, I want to leave you with this real quick. we got to let you go. Hey, remember to always out love, out serve, and out forgive each other. And remember, Jesus is Lord and is away to get out of bullying, guys. But you got to have the right information because most of the time we just don't know what to do. And our emotions get involved. And that's not necessarily the right thing to do all the time. So we got to deal with that. Ms. Vera Thomas, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Hey, thank you so much, guys. Hey, don't forget to share this, guys. I want you to share this with these 100 people in your network, guys, as well. Push this out. This is such a wonderful topic. We'll see you next time on Power Connections with Kevin Vaughn and Ms. Vera Thomas. God bless you.